This is what Somalia's drought has done to this three-year-old boy. His father, Abdullahi Abdi Mohammed, was a farmer until all his crops died. Last month, they joined hundreds of thousands of people who were leaving their homes for makeshift camps. But there wasn't enough food or water in the camp either. I left my wife in the camp. She was also sick. I have been here for 14 days with my son in the hospital and he is slowly making recovery day after day. The UN says more than a million children are malnourished, a third of them severely, after the last three rainy seasons failed. Crops and animals have been wiped out. Children are among the most vulnerable. The luckier ones get medical help. Across southern Somalia, therapeutic feeding centers are full, like this one in the town of Luk. Somalia's had famines before. Dr. Shukri Hussein Abdi says she's never seen anything like this. She works here for the Irish charity Trocare. This drought is more, more serious than other drought schemes in Somalia. Because when we see the admitted patients before other years, according to the uh, registers and our data, we saw this is more, more severe than the others. Most people here herded animals and grew crops on the banks of the rivers until they dried up. This goat was somebody's means to survival. The livestock can eat what little grows on the thorny bushes and turn it into milk, meat and income. Now carcasses are scattering this whole area. People say first, the crops died. When the animals died too, they had no choice but to walk here to the edge of the town and set up a camp. People use what they can to shelter from the dust and the sun. Conditions aren't good. Many children here need help, but humanitarian agencies say they have less than 3% of the money they need. Any help is too late for Hado Daro Isak's daughter and her four grandchildren, who she says all died on the way here. The children died while we were walking. We did not have any kind of transport. If only we had transport, they would have survived. We could not get food or water, so they could not walk. That's why they died. Nobody's even counted how many malnourished children have already died. The next rains are due in April. Help is needed now. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Southern Somalia.